Welcome to Lesson 4, Drawing a Border and Title Block Using DesignCAD. Let's begin by double-clicking on the shortcut of DesignCAD. And once the um, window pops open, you can go into Drawing Units, make sure this is set to millimeters, press OK, and create a new drawing. Of course, your ruler shows up and your different toolbars. If you have any extras, remember to shut those off so you have more room. We're going to go down to the line drawing tools and select the second option. This is the ortho line drawing tool. Once that has been indented, it means it's been selected. So we can take our cursor and go to the bottom left hand of the screen and left click. Our border and title block is 260 by 196. 260 millimeters to the right. So I'm going to go point relative, type in 260 on the x-axis, double check that this says last point, and press OK. Now that went way off the screen, so I'm going to take and press enter. I'm not sure where it went, but I can see that this is 105 millimeters, so it's it's quite a, quite a ways away. To find it, I'm just going to go press Fit to Window Zoom option. And there it is. The beginning and the end. And I want to just zoom out about mm, maybe three more times. So I'm going to go one, two, three, and use this one, two, three times. Oh, I lost it. It's way down there. I'm just going to scroll down see if I can find it. Oh, there it is. The reason I want to zoom out this much is because when I draw this way, I want to see the whole title block. And then I can zoom back in when I'm at that point. Go and grab the ortho line drawing tool. And I want you to snap on this bottom left hand corner by right clicking. And we want to go up 196. So point relative, the quick key is beside the enter key in quotation marks. I'm going up, so I'm on the Y. So I can just put in zero. This is already highlighted. <clears throat> so I'm going to put 0 on the X, press tab to take me to DY, and put in 196. This says last point, that's what I want. And press enter on your keyboard, and it goes up. Now do not press enter again, we want this line to remain green. Now point relative again, you can see I can continue drawing from that point. So point relative, this time type in 260 on the X. Tab takes me to the next line and zero. Enter, and there I am. Now I don't have to put the coordinates to go down here. I actually can just take my mouse and right click as long as I'm closer to that point than any other point on the drawing. Press enter, and that draws the line black. Now I want to zoom in, so I'm going to go fit to window, and now I can see my whole drawing. So the way I drew this is this is a separate part. See that? Then the bottom line. So I'm moving things around here just to get them back. I'm going to press Ctrl Z, which is edit, undo, one, two, three times. And I get back to where I was. Now I'm going to teach you a new tool. This bottom line, I want it to be parallel 10 millimeters up. So I want to grab a paralleling tool. Underneath the line drawing tools, there is this tool right here called, let's see what they call it. Parallel by distance. So it gives you a window, which you're going to type in 10. <clears throat> and once I've typed that in, I can now, I'm just going to go on to the bottom here, and I can left click on this line, and I can move it up or down. Now you can't see the down part until I scroll down a bit. There you go. See how it moves it up or down? I want to move it up and left click. Now this green line here, that's just a ghost. This isn't really here. So I'm going to go to refresh and get rid of it. And I'm going to go back to fit to screen or fit to window. And there you have it, the first part of your title block. So this is called your border and this is called your title block. Now I want to parallel a couple more times. So I'm going to grab that parallel tool, type in as a distance 2. I'm going to make my guidelines 2 millimeters from the bottom and the top. So left click 
pull it down, left click. Do it again, left click, pull it up, and left click. Good, there we go. Those are my guides for placing my letters. Now let's go back over to the line drawing tool and get the ortho line drawing tool. Right click near this point and it'll snap. And my sections are 80 millimeters. That's where I'm going to place my name, my title, my grade, and period. So my sections are 80, so I'm going to go from that point, point relative, 80 on the X, nothing on the Y, that's zero. Last point is selected, press enter. I'm going to just take my cursor and go up. I could go down and, and draw that section, but I don't want to because I want to get rid of this line when I'm done with it. It's just a referencing line. So I'm going to left click somewhere up here. It doesn't matter. <clears throat> Press enter. Now I have a point in which I can click to. So grab that ortho line drawing tool and you can click to it. I'm just going to zoom into here so you can see what I'm doing a little better. <clears throat> Oh, I already have that tool, so right click on this point. And now I want to go down, and I can't snap to this line. See what happens when I right click? It snaps back to this point. So let's do this. To snap to this point, or to this line, I want to use what's called line snap. And that's this tool right here. So I'm going to left click on that tool. Come back over here and see how that box appears? That's that's a line snap, and I want to left click. This is not a right click snap, this is a left click snap. So left click, there we go. It snapped to that line, and now I can press enter. Now I'll zoom back out, previous zoom, and you can see this point, this line, referencing line. I don't need that anymore, so I'm just going to click on that and press the delete button on my keyboard. Now I need another one of these 80 over. I can do this one in one of two ways. I can get my parallel tool and I can type in 80 and I can click on the line and move it over. That's my simplest way. The other way is to do the referencing point just like you did before and that's just to take this, right click, point relative, type in my 80, get a referencing point, and then I would proceed to draw this line that I just drew here. So I'll delete that. Get my line drawing tool, or full line drawing tool, right click. So this is a slower way, but it works as well. And I can snap to that line, getting my line snap tool, and left click, enter, and delete. So again, I'll show you the, the quicker way. I'm just going to delete that. And uh, We'll just go over here to my parallel tool 80 I put in from the previous. Left click, move that over, left click again. Now I just noticed my window is not maximized. Make sure your window is always maximized. This should be like that. And that way you can see things a little better. I'm going to fit to window one more time. There we go. And there's your border and title block. We are missing a few things. First of all, we're missing the th this border and this title block should be heavier. So I'm going to double click on them and this line width comes up. At this point, we can make this, this line thick, quite a bit thicker. We're going to choose one for one millimeter. Enter. So double click on this one. Do the same on line width, one, enter and double click on this one and one enter this one as well one enter and this one as well one and enter now that you have your guidelines available you're going to go take your text drawing tool and type in your first and last name if it fits or your first initial and your last name if it doesn't so for me that's Oh, we have to make sure that this is caps locked. Always drafting with caps locks on. Mr. Cardinal. And then we, when we can take and pull this down here, we see the size of 2. This has to be a size of 6. So we're going to take and place that there. 
because we're we have six millimeters of line left. Remember, we made a ten millimeter title block. Well, we have two millimeters on the top, two millimeters on the bot bottom. We have six millimeters left. So I type in six, and then we press enter, like so. At that point, we're going to take and do the same for the middle. I don't know the title of your drawing, so I'm just going to put in title and place it in the middle as best I can at this point. Press enter and do the same for grade and period. So we're going to assume this is grade 8 and place that one here and do it again except period. Who knows what period this is? Perhaps it's 5. So we're going to place that right there. And those are about centered. But they're not perfect. So I can zoom right into there with my fit to window. Click and drag that down. Oh, too far down. There we go. Scroll over to my title. And go over to grade and period. Just pull those nice and centered, fit to window, and there we go. These guidelines are no, not necessary in your drawing, so we might as well click on them and press the delete button. And there you have it, a completed border and title block. Now saving is key to success on any computer program, really. So we need to know how to do that. File, save as. And we are going to call this <clears throat> border. Oh, my caps lock is on. Let's get rid of that. Border and title blog. And you can reuse this for any one of these. Now, we have a file name, but we don't really have a place to put it. So what I want you to do is when you do this drop down, when you select the drop down, you have a homes folder. You're going to click on that. I'm not logged in, so I'm just going to save mine on my desktop. Wherever you save it, you need to make a new folder. Now, once you press this button, a new folder comes up. So we can type in I A grade 8. Now, what's going to happen here is I've made another folder like this already. So when I press open, it's going to say this destination already contains a folder. Etc. Etc. Do you still want to merge this folder? So I'm just going to put yes. You shouldn't have that. You should only have one. So there's my folder. Now when I double click on that, I've already made this a few times. So this is the same name. It's going to overwrite that. When I press save. It's just going to say, do you want to overwrite it? Yes, because I don't want two of them. There you go. So. That's how you save it. Make sure you're saving about every five minutes. Once you have a destination border and title block and you've saved it once, you just have to press this button, this save button. And then it will save it. So every five, ten minutes when you're drawing, go back up here and press save. And that brings us to the end of lesson four, drawing a border and title block.